Hello, my name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 45. Day 3045. 3 is to signify that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 45. We are on page number 253. Please turn to it. Page number 253. And there you'll find the topic that you see there on the blackboard the system of inequalities and we are dealing with very straightforward very simple two linear inequalities as opposed to equalities as opposed to equations solving a system of equations just two, two equations in the system is very straightforward and you will see that so is inequality so 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 is solving system of inequalities there is not there is not really much difference at all the way we solve an equality is exactly the same way as we will solve inequality with a couple of exceptions here and there. So let, let's get going, shall we? So the very first thing we're going to do here is inequalities. We have we have two inequalities here, x minus 3y, we are told has to be greater than or equal to negative 6, and we are told in the second inequality that 2x plus y has to be greater than or equal to negative 1. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to write these as equalities, and, and we'll solve them as if they were equalities. Well, not solve them, rather, draw them, or plot them. So let's do it here. Right? Let's, let's, let's do it right here. So, when x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, it's going to be negative 3y is equal to negative 6. Divide both sides by negative 3, and you will see that y is equal to 2. So we have 0, and positive 2 is 1 point. Now let's do the same thing again. x minus 3y, set it equal to negative 6, that is an equality. Instead of putting x equal to 0, let's put y is equal to 0. So x minus 3 times 0, which is 0, and x is negative 6. So when x is negative 6, y is 0. There we go. We have the two points there. That's all we need for us to be able to plot the equation, the equation, the equality. We'll worry about inequality in a second. So 0, 2, let's put it here. x is equal to 0, and y is equal to 2. So we're going to need to go all the way up to or oh, we'll see. Well, let's put it 1 and 2. If it turns out that we need more room in the, when we deal with the second inequality, I may have to adjust the scale, but we'll worry about it later. Negative 6 and 0. Negative 6 and 0. x is equal to negative 6. Let's put a... Let's put here 2, 4, 6. Negative 6. And 2, 4, and 6. As long as you're reasonable, you're, it's fine. So negative 6 and 0. So that's the first inequality. Let's, let's plot it here. Join the two. Now what we have here, what we have here is an equality, an equation. Now let's worry about inequality, shall we? Let's worry about the inequality. Let's erase all of this thing. We already have the shape. And the quickest, simplest way, if you cannot see right away, if you cannot see right away, the greater than or equal to sign where we should shade the upper part or lower part. I'm going to resolve this line freehand because I don't like the way it came out. Just give me a second. I feel much better. Uh, the, the simplest, the easiest, the quickest, the most economical way to figure out where the, the solution region rise, solution region, is to test for the, is to always test for the origin. See where the origin falls. Right here. Let's put it in here. 0 minus 3 times 0, of course, is 0. And is 0 greater than or equal to negative 6? The answer is yes. 0 is indeed greater than or equal to negative 6, which means 0 must lie in the solution set. Because it satisfies 0 is greater than negative 6. There is our solution set. We're going to take some, we're going to take our time so it, it looks a little bit better. If we do it in a hurry, by the time you do the second one, it doesn't look very nice. It's 
that's our solution set for the first one. Let's work on the second, second equality. Second one is right there, I'm going to write it here. The second one says 2x plus y, 2x plus y is equal to 1. Even though it says greater than or equal to, let's worry about equality first so we can draw it. Again, when y is equal to, when x is equal to 0, 2 times 0 plus y is 1, which means when x is 0, y is 1. When x is 0, y is 1. When x is 0, y is 1, right here. What was it? Here we know the either scale of 2. 2, 4, and 6. Did we have a 2? Is this 4 or is it 2? When we did the first equation, it was 2. So that means this is 1. There we go, 0, 1. Now, again, 2x plus y is equal to 1. Let's put y is equal to 0. When y is equal to 0, we have 2x is equal to 1, which means x must be half. When y is 0, x is half. Pay attention, this is 2, which means this is 1. Half is somewhere here. Oh, this is going to be nasty. So we have to join these two points right here. these two points. And again, now we'll worry about the solution set, whether we should darken this part or that part, where it lies. And again, the simplest way to do is to type in 0, 0. Put in 0, 0, the origin. If we put in 0, 0, when x is 0 and y is 0, we have 0 here, and is 0 greater than or equal to, why does it say 1? It should, it should have said negative 1. Did I mess it up? Did I forget the negative one? Because that would make a difference. Bloody hell, I think I did. I, I think I did. This was negative one. Let's start again. Let's start again. When x is zero, when x is zero, y is going to be negative one. When x is zero, y is negative one. It's not here. It's not here. It's not this. Remember this was 2. This was 1. So 1, 2. And 1. When x is 0, y is negative 1. So it's right here. One point is right here. How can I be so careless? I do not know. Let's do it again, and this time we're going to put y is equal to 0. So 2x plus y, we are told, is equal to negative 1. And when y is equal to 0, when y is equal to 0, 2x is equal to negative 1, which means x is going to be negative half. Negative half. x is negative half, again pay attention here, this is your 2, this is your 4, that's, that's how we got a 6 here, if this is 2, the 1 is going to be here, we need negative half, it's going to be somewhere here. So we join these two points. Okay, it's not a big deal, we made a mistake, we took care of it. Let's put in 0, 0 and see, let's put in 0, 0 and let's see if the origin lies in the solutions, solution region or if, the, if, or if the origin lies outside the solution region. 0, 0, 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 and we are told that it is greater than or equal to negative 1. Oh, it is. 0 is greater than or equal to negative, greater than negative 1, which means the origin, 0, 0, lies in the solution set, which means the solution lies, let's see if I can use a different color altogether, here, because zero is in the solution set, it lies here. Here is this part right here. Again, we're going to take our time. And the part that overlaps, the part that overlaps is our solution region. 
it is known as the solution region solution region and solution region is the part where the two overlap I'm looking for a different color marker altogether I don't have anything else let's use the black one again but I'm going to make it darker here so this is the solution region here starting from here this part this this segment and this segment anything that lies here and all of all of this is a solution set solution set solution region same thing do you understand and this is what you should find in the book if you turn to the book on page number 254 on page number 254 actually not 53 53 is where they give you the problem at the bottom of 253 is where they give you the problem but the work is actually shown on page 254 if you turn to page 254 and if you are wondering where that picture is coming from and how to obtain it well now we know because we just did it together and this thing should look similar to what you see there this is our solution region we're going to call this 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 problem appears as two as appear in this problem appears in the book as 2.8.3 and as I said it is given to us at the very bottom of page number 253 the previous page page 253 where they give us the problem and it is labeled as 2.8.3 we're going to label it as 2.8.3 a why a because this is your lucky day and you're going to get a b second part the second part the second one that we're going to do together is not in the book it's a bonus one so here is b it's a bonus one it is not in the book and as soon as i put the as soon as i put the, put it on the blackboard i want you to pause the video immediately pause the video immediately do all the work that we did together here and then compare your work against the work that you and i will do together okay so here is what's given to us this is part this is part b second one and the two inequalities are the two inequalities are and this by the way this by the way is similar not exactly the same but similar to the problem that we did in 2.8.2 which is 4x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 12 I, I, I essentially took 2.8.2 and turn the equality into inequality and over there in 2.8.2 it is 13 and 13 gives us a nasty mar nasty numbers ni nasty arithmetic and fractions uh, we don't want to do that let's make it a 12 and the second one is x plus 2y we are told is less than or equal to 2 so one more time 4x plus 3y we are told has to be greater than or equal to 12 and the second one we are told that x x plus 2y x plus 2y has to be less than or equal to 2 4x plus 3y has to be greater than or equal to 12 and x plus 2y has to be less than or equal to 2 find the solution region find the solution set go ahead and do it yourself i'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video while i enjoy my tea Let's do it together. Again, the starting point is going to be the same. We're going to turn this into an equality so that, so that we can plot it very easily. So let's get going, shall we? Let's first make x is equal to 0. If x is equal to 0, 3y we are told is equal to 12. I don't like it. It has to line up. 3y has to equal to 12. Divide both sides by 3 and we'll find that y in that case has to be equal to 4, which means the line has to go through 0, 4. 0, 4. Let's solve the other one this time make this time we're going to make y is equal to 0 and in which case 3x has to equal to 12 divide both sides by 4 and x has to be equal to 3 which means line must also go through 3 0 there you go we have the two points we can plot the line we can start the process the process is same as before nothing is different same met same methodology same logic 
same rationale, same rules, nothing changes. So, zero, 4, x has to be 0, when x is 0, y is 4. So let's put it up here, 2, 4, 2, 4. Immediately, as soon as you put a scale on the upper side, you must immediately replicate the scales on the bottom, because otherwise you might forget, was it 1? Is it 1 and 2? Is it, is, you might forget. So this is negative 4, you understand? This is negative 2, obviously. Let's do this. Oh, we haven't done the other one. So 0, 4 is right there, and 3, 0, 3, 0. So let's do it here. 1, 2, 3, 0. Again, eyeball it. Just eyeball it. Doesn't have to be exactly, but has to be reasonable. 1, 2, 3. So we're going to do the same thing here. 1, 2. And we can't just do this. This is lousy. This is, this, this is, this is not reasonable. Do you understand? It has to be reasonable. 1, 2, 3. There you go. 3, 0. X is, I mean, X is 3. Y is 0. Right there. So we have the first one. Oh, I hope this one, I hope this, this, this was the right move because, because I'm looking at my work here and the solution region lies all of that here in this part, which we will not be able to see. We're going to lose a lot of details. I'm going to redraw it. I'm going to redraw it because everything is in the positive region. You understand? Three zero, three zero, one two three zero, right here zero four. One two three four. Even this one I do not like. We're going to lose a lot of details. I hope it comes out okay. Let's do the next one. Enough of the top. The next one was x plus 2y. This one we were told it has to be greater than or equal to 12. So that, was, that one was this. x plus 2y, we are told, has to be less than or equal to 2. Less than or equal to 2. We'll deal with the equal to parts first. Equal to parts first. Again, when x is equal to 0, 2y we are told has to be equal to 2. 2y has to equal to 2, which means y must be 1, which means 0, 1 is one, one point where it's going to go through. And again, x plus 2y, we are told has to equal to 2. When y is equal to 0, when y is equal to 0, x has to equal to 2. So 2 and 0 is another one. 0, 1, 0, x is 0, y is 1, and 2, 0, when x is 2, y is 0. There we go. This is the other one. Let me put it in a different color. Okay. Let's find the solution regions. Let's find the solution regions. First this one. Again, very simple trick that I always use is to put in the origin. Put in the origin, don't, don't have to think too much about it. Put in the origin. When you put in the origin here, you're going to get 0 plus 0. Is 0 more than 12? 0. Is it more than 12? The answer is no. 0 is not more than 12. What does it tell us? It tells us that 0 does not belong in the solution set. 0 does not belong in the solution set on this one. So this black one is what we're talking about. 0 does not belong in the solution set, which means the solution set is not on this side, it's on the other side. It's on the other side, you see? Because had we gone this way, 
you will include zero and zero we can clearly see it's not a solution it's not it does not uh, lie in the solution set zero is not more than 12. let's do the second one second one tells us second one tells us that x plus 2y x plus 2y is less than or equal to 2. okay i keep looking at my nose i want to make sure that i don't miscopy everything anything like i did a little while ago so again, put in 0, 0, 0 plus 0, y is equal to 0, the whole thing is going to be 0. Is 0 less than 2? The answer is yes, 0 is less than 2. What does it tell us? That tells us the origin is part of the solution set for the blue one. Origin is part of the solution set for the blue one. So here we go. There's a blue one. Origin has to be part of the solution. It has to be part of the region. I don't know why I started like that. So what is the solution set? Solution set is always where the two overlap. And where do the two overlap here? The two of them overlap in this region right here. Let me see if I can put a green color. The two of them overlap in this region right here. From here and here. Anything that lies in here, anything, anything that lies in here, is part of our solution set. That is our solution region for this problem. That tiny bit right there. And sometimes, sometimes they give you three inequalities and by the time we plot the three inequalities it turns out that after doing all the work you will find out that the solution region is just a one tiny little triangle. One tiny little thing area in the middle, tiny puny little triangle. That's the same idea here. That was the end of that was the end of the lesson for today. Tomorrow, we'll talk about the line of symmetry and the reflection of a line. That's the next, that's the next topic on the next page, 2.8.4. They talk about the reflection of a line and the line of symmetry. That's what we're going to talk about tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.